Describe what you're seeing, Mike. I'm going to take a crack at what may be happening here. This is supposed to be a dead Harold Ramis. <laughs> yeah, well, an alive Harold Ramis, <laughs> <laughs> technically. Oh, he's going to drive the house yeah. with the ghost. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Merrick. Are we doing the original? And we are about to watch Ghostbusters Afterlife! Woo! It's the most exciting movie of the century! Who here has seen Ghostbusters 1984? The Melissa McCarthy one? Who has seen Ghostbusters 2? I like that one better. Which is wild. Because but... of the guy in the painting, it was cool. Yeah, well, you, you know his name. <laughs> Don't, pretend. Don't Vigo, pretend. Vigo the Carpathian, okay? <laughs> Look. Yeah, the guy in the painting, and my also, ass. The, the second one had pink goo. Yes, which, yeah. which, which was nice. That was like it got more gooey if you were a racist or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who here has seen Ghostbusters Afterlife? I have, I have not. Oh, it's a new viewer beware. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops, looks like if you die in real life, you die in the movies. <laughs> That's his Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> what it was that? I think you're right. All right, so I'm just going to say this. Uh, yeah. Ghostbusters in the 90s felt like it was like a played out, like this is a cash grab now. Like there's like three cartoons. The second movie Everyone even made jokes about that. Yeah. It was already played the out. Cartoon, the cartoons though. were great. Is that yes. what I was introduced to it? Yes. Same way with Beetlejuice. I was like, there's a Beetlejuice movie? Get out of town. <laughs> what are you doing? The neighbor's electricity is running out of phase, so I tied in and bumped us up to 220. This has got big, I bypassed the compressor energy. Yeah. <laughs> but this girl, the actress, whatever her name is, is very good. Like she really, the movie her. relies completely on her. Yeah. And she's I did, very good. She, to me, like, I was like, maybe kids are cool. You win a lottery? Kind of. My father died. Uh, I do love Carrie Coon. No. She's a cutie I wouldn't mind seeing on screen. I'm doing it right now. Yeah? Did your dad uh, abandon your family and move to a farm in the middle of nowhere? So what is good about this movie and what is realistic to Ghostbusters is that she sucks. She's a <laughs> crappy mom. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. It's very cool. <laughs> it's very like, honestly realistic to what? Really? Like how, to to the ghost, no, to the Ghostbusters, like how the Ghostbusters were just kind of like these like scam artist guys. Here's this weird town that I don't believe exists. I prefer New York City for wow. Ghostbusters. Yeah, I know that's like that's a weird part of this too. It's like why isn't this in fucking Manhattan? Also, yeah. just I do want to point out with this film, they made stuff. This is a real ass house that was a fucked up spooky barn. That's a real barn. Oh, Mike is going to salivate. There's one scene that is a beautiful practical effect that like made my jaw hit the floor. And I feel like, Mike, I think you will be like, wow. I think you'll be impressed that they actually did it. You know what I'm talking about? I'll keep an eye out for it. Dirt Farmer had a family. Dirt Farmer? That's his name? No one knew your father. I would love to go to a fast food place and have someone have an interaction like that with me. Like the McDonald's employee like gives me my food at the window and then goes like, be careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, what did you put in my fucking food? <laughs> I put jalapenos on your burger. There's an extra kick to it. Is that what they call understudies in the Rockettes? Extra kick? I'm sorry. I think I would have went yeah. with like small legs. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me try it. Can I try again? Go for it. What do you call a Rockettes understudy? I don't know what. Small legs. <laughs> He's cracking up in his own pit. <laughs> like he didn't know it was coming. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you got me. Also, I love, you don't see John Lithgow often enough, but I'm glad he made it. Oh, well. Eric. Uh, What's up? I hate to tell you. Oh, no. He Wait. died in uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Mike to meet the other character we haven't met yet, the kid. Oh. I can't wait to meet this child. Oh, here we go. I'm Phoebe. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm podcast. Oh, my God. I think that's really horrible that it's pretty a podcast. I can't stand that. Pretty lame. Well, it's like Egon's name. It was like a weird word. <laughs> no. Podcast yeah. is a, is a common like noun. like Egon's name was like <laughs> terrestrial <laughs> broadcasting. Yeah. It was natural causes. Are you sure it wasn't? Unnatural causes. You know what I like that this kid's making a very hyper specific NPR documentary style <laughs> podcast. This is serial season three. Yeah, just introduce yourself and tell me what you ate for breakfast. I like his style. <laughs> I like You're his, you in like, a focus group. <laughs> yeah, I like his what do you style. Do you podcast. Uh, I like his cool shirt. Just walked out of like uh, Nick News with Linda Ellery. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> Doing some Where kind is of she today? Uh, dead, probably. I bet she died reporting on a war somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You want to vape? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got like a sheath for his mic like it's a samurai sword. <laughs> You're like, right. Like, shing. To a cop, it looks like a gun. I was going to say, yeah. that, no, no, the boom Put it down. It looked like he would like whip it out. Yeah. <laughs> then it just stopped. Mm -hmm. I mean, there hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. 
That is so insane. There that hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 people years. People accepted that there were ghosts 30 years ago, but like now, no. If I was a kid, I would have known about that. Ghosts were ghosts real. Ghosts were real. 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Grandma experienced ghosts when she was 60. And these <laughs> legends came with laser weapons and defeated the <laughs> <Yes>. ghosts. <laughs> And we have statues of them now. That would be like, wait, let me think. What's the equivalent? That would be like... 9-11? Did that happen? Yeah, yeah right, exactly. <laughs> That's the, you know, what stinks is like, you think like, oh, if they made a Ghostbusters 3 today, I'd be interested to see like, what's the world look like? That happened. Like, what's reality now? And this movie decided like... Take it away Totally from normal. Well, it's why they're in the middle of nowhere. So they didn't have to answer that question. Right, because this is conservative country. Yeah. In liberal country, they're all like, ghosts are real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this is like fake news. They're like, no, no, bullshit. If it was in the city, it would be like, there'd be billboards with like ghost, like scams on it. Like other people trying to no, scam ghost stuff. Dating ghosts. Ghost marriage, like it would be like a concern, you know, like that would be like a whole thing. Dan Aykroyd got a ghost blowjob, so that would be. They do that it, in this one. This time they blow the ghost. Holy shit! If we saw someone blow a ghost <laughs> against its will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess they could have done something where his glasses like showed her the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Sure, why, why, not? why not? I guess they could have done something. Ghost like glasses? That. Why not? Again, this is the focus group. What would you have liked to see? I would like of her to see her future in the glasses, please. And she sees her untimely death. Please. <laughs> please. The fact that you said please. Like, they're going to go rework. <laughs> Two of the CRT emitters are missing. <laughs> I like this. I really like that his presence is there. Yeah. This stuff works. This little, like, Luxo lamp bullshit is cool. I like it. His fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, Shredder? We got a, we got a new slime man? He's like yeah. a slimer. Oh, that's that, right. I saw that. Yeah. He's a slimer that eats metal, I think, and he, like, he pisses metal. He spits metal. <laughs> <laughs> he spits <laughs> metal. <laughs> I'm iffy on what ghosts do. In the first movie, they serve you hot dogs, they drive your cabs. <laughs> They, they just want to get back to work. They work at a library. Like, didn't, yeah. the librarian goes didn't yeah, do anything yeah. wrong. So this is what happens to all the unbaptized oh. babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's pissing fucking lead. Wait a second. Yeah, he, the he really does piss metal. I forgot. Yeah. You're hurting it. You're yeah, hurting it. Yeah, it's like it. screaming in pain. <laughs> You're hurting it. It's horrific. <laughs> Make a sweet love to a oh fire hydrant. Oh my god, he is fucking <laughs> yeah. molesting that fire hydrant. Look at him. Going to Holy town. shit. It's gonna bust. All he wants to do. <laughs> oh, he's gonna bust yeah. all right. This old rusty mining cage. They go to jail? <laughs> hey, CAG. All cops are ghosts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Podcast, get to the internet. You gotta invent a new hashtag. I knew there was a Walmart scene just because of the marketing, but yeah. why was Walmart actually was doing like? A well, no, like promotion? it was like the first like one first of the trailers. Thing they released like... of the movie was just Paul Rudd walking in Walmart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this Walmart is so unrealistic for so many reasons. The biggest one being that the shelves aren't empty. <laughs> yeah, it's not fucking ravaged. People yeah, aren't... <laughs> literally yeah. ravaged. People aren't stabbing each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Happened? maybe I'm crazy. I actually found this scene fucking hilarious. Maybe it was because I was on my second beer. <laughs> he just ran over a little yes. marshmallow guy. Yes. Yeah, it just, oh, they it don't care. It starts getting, <laughs> oh! Life is meaningless to yeah. these creatures. They don't care. Their great grandfather this, look, look. died in the New York War. Look. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Look at the burn. <laughs> Just walks right That's into it. That's what he's Look at him. But he's smiling. He's That's smiling actually as fucking he's funny. Okay. Look at this. Yeah, it's a real dog. That is a practical yeah, fucking man. dog. Hell yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like an actual Ghostbusters I, I movie. Actu yeah, it looks Paul like Rudd is looking at this. Hey, that moment where Paul Rudd saw that thing was the only moment where I felt like an actor was actually like interacting with something in this movie. Yeah. Like that was awesome. <laughs> Did you get scared? Is this the focus group? Yeah. Just enough, thanks. Did you get scared? Just enough. Just enough. <laughs> it's okay. Wait. <laughs> yeah, let the ghost out. We could kick his ass again. We, we know it's it out. Yeah. Kick his ass again. That's isn't that how Batman operates? <laughs> That's exactly what he does. <laughs> yeah, let the Joker out. I'll kick his yeah. ass again. <laughs> I know his tricks. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. 
up. She cracks up. I will spare you. I will spare you. <laughs> There's two whales in a bar, and one of them goes, oh. And then the other one goes, go home. You're drunk. That's pretty funny. That, that was funny. I laughed. This that got a chuckle group. out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear you laugh. That worked for me. <laughs> This was Grandpa's plan. This was Grandpa's plan. She's got a gun in her hand. <laughs> oh, and there were all these photos. These photos of me, like, like he was tracking my entire life. Who, your father? That's just called a photo album. Can you imagine looking at your family photos and being like, you guys been fucking following me? <laughs> yeah. You've been having you take a picture. What the me? fuck is this? Wait, you didn't even this help me. Shit. Me in a bathtub? What the <laughs> fuck, Mom? You fucking took a picture of my little dick? <laughs> hey, flat top. Uh oh. Have you missed us? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, wait, wait. Dan Aykroyd still has it. Listen, ready? You tell me this is not this character. In the name of the county of Somerville, state of Oklahoma, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, all the members of Ducks Unlimited, the Association for the Advancement of Retired Persons. <laughs> He's playing it like an 80s comedy. He really is. Listen to him. Yeah, cheese ball. Light him up. So as kind of like horribly sad this image is, uh, I I would have much rather have seen their adventures than like these kids. Like that, yeah, yeah, I would rather see yeah. the old Ghostbusters yeah. than the whole movie. Yeah, nothing stings like a billion electron volts. So you know what actually bothers me about What's this up? the most? The fact that they just like walk up out of nowhere. Yeah. Where did they get the proton? I, I Where did wish they get the costume. I wish they like wearing their costumes. Like I just the wish the kids are wearing their costumes. They could have done a bit where they showed up in a shitty van or something. Yeah, like. We don't have the costumes. You know. Like they Ubered out there. Like <laughs> they Ubered. No! I hope they really threw Bill Murray across the room. The only person who's allowed to do that is Wes Anderson. He'll be like, "Throw me around, you little throw, fancy boy." Throw me around, you, <laughs> you fancy, fancy little, boy. You're French or something, right? <laughs> Somebody should cut in Robert Pattinson coming out of that and being like, bring my body back to my father. What's weird about this is that that is a <laughs> digital representation of what Egon might look like 30 years in the future. Yeah, because that's not Harold Ramis. He gained a lot of weight when he was older. Yeah, no, they just he did didn't Egon. look like that. Yeah. yeah. So you think this is cool to do to people? No, I'm, that's that's my point. I'm not saying that. Do they get away with it because it is an artist's representation of what a character from 30 years ago? That's would exactly look like? how they're yeah. doing. See what I'm saying? It's not the it's not the person's likeness. Correct. It's the character. Correct. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have called. A mission, my friend. Do you think they feel weird as fuck doing that? Yes. Like, god yeah. damn. Oh, that's gotta be really weird. He literally looks like he's dead. <laughs> I don't believe he's living. Hope you enjoyed these highlights from our commentary track for Ghostbusters Afterlife. If you would like to watch all three Ghostbusters movies with us, you can download our full commentary tracks at prettymuch.it, where you can also find out how to get brand new commentary tracks from us every single week. If you would like to follow us on social media, we are at Strifleric, at Jake Baldino, and at Mike's Moist. Ah, uh, that's... Oof. Oof. Yeah. And that's pretty much it.